Hey, how's it going? Today we are checking out the 09. So I got this scooter from Rev Rides, who's the West Coast distributor for Zero Scooters. And I got this as a demo as I had already uh, reviewed the 08. Um, and as a way to compare the two. Right now I'm gonna grab the camera and we're gonna jump around and look at some of the specs. A few fancy pictures if I can make them work. Here we're looking up close at the 09. 09 came in at 39.8 pounds in my weighing, so quite heavy. It does fold down, um, so it's semi, I would say semi portable. I wouldn't want to carry it for very long. You can see here, a key difference with some other scooters is you can see that front disc brake. So this has eight and a half inch air filled tires, both front and rear. And you can see the valve stem I mean, they're a little bit hard to get to. I aired up the tires. It wasn't terrible, but they're a little... I'll show when I show the other side, take note of that. Um, the air tires do add a lot of comfort to this scooter. Um, it does have dual suspension, front and rear. Uh, it's got a 120 millimeter uh, disc brake on the front and a drum brake in the back that also, when you pull the brake lever, you can see them up here, the brake levers have uh, motor inhibitors on both sides. But that also cues in the electronic brake um, to start braking as soon as you touch the brake levers. We got the charging port here. And the one thing you can't see right now, and I'll when I turn it, fold it up, is it's got a, a lot of lighting on the 09 here. We come back here to the disc power disconnect if you need to take off the rear wheel. Got the integrated kickstand. And yeah, so let's uh, I'm gonna fold it up. All right, so I'm folding it up on the table. I haven't done it this before, like this before, but hopefully it shows you. You just gotta relieve a little pressure onto this hinge here and take it up into place and make sure you get that nice positive connection there. So we're, uh, we're in here a little closer. So it's a 500 watt direct drive rear hub motor. And then in the, bat in the deck here, you have a 40, 8 volt 13 amp hour battery which gives you 624 watt hours of power. Um, I'll put the uh, advertised range on the from uh, Rev Rides website on the video but I'm going to do a range test here in a few minutes and show you how far it goes. So you can tell it has a nice generous deck on here so it's 19 half inches long so that's that's longer than any scooter I've reviewed so far and then seven and a half inches wide. You can see it's my size 10 shoes um, and you could potentially even get a little side-to-side -side action like that if you wanted. One thing I will say, coming around to the back here, the uh, the fender back here is a little, that's not, that's just a reflector. It's a little uh, cheaper than I would like. Um, that was kind of like one knock on that. And then coming over here to the mechanism, so you get, this is the drum brake, actu rear drum brake actuating mechanism. Seems to work quite well. I'll do a little, test emergency stop in this video. One thing I wanted to mention is uh, Rev Rides, when they import these scooters, they do some minor things to them to make sure they're gonna be uh, held, hold up and because they're standing behind their warranty here in the US. So this is the indication of one of these. Uh, if you bought this scooter straight from the manufacturer, this, which is the headlight, front headlight wiring, will wrap around on this upper portion. And when you, if you're a heavier rider that depresses this front, suspension all the way or if you really brake hard which that also makes the front end dive um, that was severing this front headlight wire so what they do at rev rides is they basically reroute this wire so you don't have to deal with that issue area is sort of cluttered you know and the this wiring comes down and goes through the part of the folding mechanism and then it honestly rubs on the wheel sometimes so I end up tucking it back over like this um, it'd be nice if there was like some sort of keeper washer 
on one of these bolts here to kind of keep that held back like that. And that does affect the turning diameter a little bit. Here, I'll show you that as I pull this off the table here. It's gonna do a couple specs right here. Um, there's gonna be a full write-up of specs down in the description, links and measurements that I, that I, take, I took. So here, I wanted to show you that. So you get rotation to the right of 60 degrees. See, then we're start, stopping there, but to the left, you get rotation of, I measured this at 75 degrees. So that's not 90, a lot of people think that's a bad number, 90, because then it's your chances of flipping off of the scooter are pretty high. I'm gonna show you how the uh, handlebar mechanism folds and tightens. So here at the handlebar, this is a sliding collar. Near, near, near. Sliding collar there. And then when you flip it up, it snaps in place and then you can tighten this down to get a nice secure connection. And you can see on the handlebars here, you got a, this is the rear brake lever, which is a little different than on some bikes, which uh, a lot of times right is rear, but left is rear. You have a nice little signal bell here display, which I'm gonna power on just by holding the power button shortly. And then uh, this is your front brake here. Here, I'm actuating that now. The nice thing with the Zero is uh, anytime you hit either the front or the rear brake, the LED tail lights flash, um, even when you're not, you don't have the headlights on. So you power on the, and I'm, I'll do another video going through the display settings more, but basically you have your lifetime odometer, your speed, and you can change units here. Um, and gear really means your speed limitation. So zero is supposed to be up to about 10 miles an hour, then to about 18, then to pretty much unlimited and three. I'll go through each of those speeds in the video and show you what the, with the GPS, what my actual speeds are per speed zone limit. Um, if you hit the power button, you cycle through the functionality of the display. You get odometer trip, and there's a bunch of other settings in there as well. One thing that's a slight complaint to me about the Zero 09 is that kind of some of the finish details aren't quite as refined as some of the other scooters, like this plastic finish, and like I said already about this cabling here, um, and, the, and the fender not being too fantastic. Um, but anyway, I think those are pretty minor things in comparison to the scooter overall. And I'm going to just do a little quick uh, hit the suspension down so you can get some idea of how that works. I'm 175 pounds, and you can see I do bottom that out. But that comfort provided with the rear pneumatic tire seems to cancel that out pretty well. I'm going to just show you really quickly the minimum and maximum handlebar heights, which the, they'll be on the details down the video. But the uh, we have. 28 and a quarter inches to 39 inches and the centimeter equivalents will be there in the description so there's your minimum and your maximum so it's pretty high I kind of I I kind of ride with it about in this vicinity and I like that it's got this large uh, very you get a mechanical advantage with this uh, particular clamp you get really tight with a uh, with a lot with very little force in your hands all right I think that kind of goes through the initial part of this so I'm going to get my brain bucket on and let's ride it around and then I'm going to do a talk a few, I'm going to stop and talk a few times then I'm going to do full range test and then I'll just do the wrap up at the range test and give you an idea what this thing's like. Thanks. Alright, we're ready to take a ride. Brain bucket on, sunglasses to be on and through the magic of modern technology. GPS data. Okay, so now we're going to start out in mode one. And hopefully I'll be able to hold the camera up here a little bit so you can see some of it. And uh, just to, I don't know if I said it before, but this cockpit is a little crowded. Um, it's not too bad. Um, I'm probably going to make a little adjustment and slide this uh, over a little further so I could have a little more separation between the throttle and the brake and the front brake lever. Gear one, which is I'm getting about eight miles per hour. Uh, on the speedometer, we'll see what it says on the GPS. Now I'm going to go to mode 2. You can see right away that picks up a lot. You can 
can see at speed there's a little bit of a handlebar wobble, wobble, maybe more than a little bit. That's about 17 on the display. Very short intermission. So that, hopefully you'll be able to tell that's booking pretty good. So, right. Hopefully I'm going to be a little bit of back view of the motor and the brake and then I'm going to turn it down so you can see the uh, front brake uh, actuate and I'm going to do kind of a little bit of a braking test. Same thing, we're still in speed mode 3. Alright, hopefully you're able to hear that brake work there for a second. I just spotted a little spot here off the trail. Um, that's got some... I'm gonna... Because the... The 09 has dual air tires, so it just lends itself a lot more to being able to throw it around off-road. Wow, that's going to go on the gag reel. All right. One thing I would say to be a little bit cautious about is that this front brake is really strong. So I might even see if I can put the brake levers opposite to what I'm more used to. Because in emergency braking, I've noticed I've hit the front brake a little hard. And uh, I might cl pay a clip of a bailout. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm right here in the shade to show the lights. So to turn on the headlights, all you do is hold down the mode button. And there's a little indication that comes on on the screen. Let you know you got them on. So we got the LED strip with the headlights. Um, we got side blue LED strips. So I'm going to do kind of a fast stop. I'm going to get up to 15 miles per hour. I'm going to stop basically as hard as I can right in front of the camera. I think the rear tire might have popped up a little bit on that, but you can tell. That was in the neighborhood of this distance. So under 15 feet from 15 miles per hour, it looks like. I'll do more testing comparing braking distance in my detail video, but just give you an idea. Brakes best is <laughs> the bet has the best braking of any scooter I've tested so far. Am I am I filming myself? That'd be weird. All right, so I am five miles in, and the battery just ticked down the first increment. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but it's a five bar battery indicator. It popped back up just as soon as I stopped. Uh, 
a lot of the displays on these uh, on e-bikes and scooters, uh, when you're under instantaneous power, they can't get an accurate reading of your battery indication. So usually if you stop for a second, it will reset and you'll get a better indication what the battery is actually at. So it looks to me like uh, the display might be a little optimistic. It's saying 20 miles per hour right now. I don't know what the GPS is. I say that because it looks like the, my GPS watch just ticked to five miles and this says 5.5. I'll figure out which of those is correct. Cars down at about eight and a half miles uh, on my 7.4 shows on my watch. I just want to give a little. It's got an egret or something down there. It's a nice little view. But this is all parking lot. Um, I think to about where that larger tree is down there, typically. And maybe not quite that far down. I'm not exactly sure. But. See, the river is high, and you can see right here where how much higher it was. All right, we'll continue our range test. We're 9.6 miles. So we just got 20 miles on the odometer. Um, we'll see what that's lining up with on the GPS. Um, but so I'm, and, it, and we look at we're at two bar, so that would be roughly if this five incremental increase is right. So that'd be about 40% remaining. And I'm going to get it down to 20% here, and I'm going to do a little across the grass. Okay, that's the end of my range test, like I said. Hope you enjoyed the range test and the detailed look at the scooter, and hopefully it helps you out try to decide between this and some of the other scooters out there. Now I'm gonna do the comparison to the 08, but I decided to just do that in a separate video. Now I'm trying to keep this video a little shorter. Uh, that's why a lot of those details about the scooter dimensions are going to be down in the description. All the timestamps to help you get around the video. Let me know how you think that works. Um, but I got 20 and a half miles. Hopefully you were able to see. I, I actually had an audio visual problem right at the end of my range video. Uh, so I'm gonna, and I'll put on the screen what that actually was. Uh, come, came out with the GPS, and then uh, I think there's a little optimism in the display. Um, this both speed and distance, uh, which is not that uncommon. I'll try to let you know how much that is. Um, last thing, I just wanted to note that you know the, when we did the when I did the sections off road, the nice thing I didn't think I don't think I said before, but the deck is six and a half inches off the ground, and you have four inches of clearance. So that clearance really helped on the off road. Uh, uh, the one thing, also on the range test having this wider deck was really great as far as being able to put my feet out and you know change foot positions and actually you can actually stand on here and kind of put your stretcher uh oh come back camera there we go you can kind of stretch your calf out even which i thought was pretty cool i didn't realize that i was gonna be able to do that um yeah i think the combination of the air tires and the suspension make for a really smooth ride and the braking is really great. Uh, the acceleration is a little slower than some of the other scooters uh, but the top speed's good like it's it feels faster and it just keeps pulling and your top speed doesn't really decrease that much towards the end of the battery life. Um, still stays quite up uh, way up there but then your, your acceleration does start to decline. Um, Looks like we got Chloe's best side here for the end of the video, but I hope uh, I hope this video is helpful. Like I, I probably just repeated myself, but feel free to leave comments down below. Again, there'll be some detailed videos about the display and some other 
uh, factors, factors, <laughs> some other stats, some other, yeah, some more detail. I'll send up, uh, there'll be multiple videos with some more detail. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Oh my Lord. Catch the wave, feel it.